Hello everybody, back home again at last. Uh, we had a really nice time in Thailand, so uh, I've uh, also been missing time flies. So today is the day, time for a new video. I'm gonna tie on uh, Graham Cully's uh, fiber hook that he made for me. Um, and the pattern of choice today is Smith. I haven't tied that fly in a while. And um, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, I do another video, I'm not sure about the pattern yet, so let's begin. Let's start. Um, first of all, oval silver tin cell I'm using Beavers extra small. So let me just attach that one. It's going to be fun. Uh, first fly in a month. So there we are. So yes, I'm going to do a few turns with this oval tinsel. I think I go with three. And the hook, as I mentioned, is a Graham Kelly um, replica of the hook I sent to him that I like to tie on, uh, size 50. So let me just cut that off. <clears throat> I think it will be quite a lot of fly tying now. Uh, the weather forecast says it's gonna rain, rain until Sunday. <laughs> So we got some nice British weather here in Sweden currently. So going back again. Next step is <coughs> yellow silk. So I'm just gonna tie in that as well. use the material throughout the fly don't cut off that much there we are tight turns backwards Sufficient. So I'm just gonna tie in the silk. And then you yeah, secure it as well. Cutting the leftovers. Going backwards again. Now we're gonna build up this little bit of foundation for the tail. Yeah, 
so. A bit of wax. We're using a clear wax now. Since I have yellow silk behind, I don't want to use the lac. So I prepare the tail. Let's see how it looks on. Make sure it's completely centered, which it is. And the same here, I use quite a lot of the stem to tie it in. I think I will go fishing with this pattern. And there we are. Cutting the leftover. Then I got this Ryan Houston substitute for Indian Crow. I did wet it a bit so it's gonna look larger than uh, it's dried. thread again so applying this one then I'm just gonna pull a bit on the feather so I thought No, it didn't turn like I wanted. So I'm gonna reapply it. There we are. Now it's where where I want it. Cutting the stem there as well. Just having a look at the pattern. Black ostrich hand. No. I was looking at the wrong one. So, yellow cook. Take it, cut this small one here. I want only one. There we are. Yes, removing the soft hackings. Time point and put the back to thread a bit. Just a little bit. And we tie in that small cock threader. Actually tie everything. There 
んのやろcan start using the black wax tying in the tinsel close to the body. There we are. I think you're going until that part. A bit shorter there. So let's start to build the tinsel body then. Is 
same day as we were loading the soft hackles in the bottom. And back to the thread a bit. As you see, I tie everything in. So, let's do this one as well. Just folding the feathers backwards. Oops. Always. Let me just redo it. Ah, come on. thread preparing to tie it in. removing some of the silver from the tinsel creating a smaller tying point I 
I'm not really happy with the start there. It's not tight enough, so I'm gonna unbind, make sure it's better. Oh, yeah, that's much better. And there we go. Just cutting the leftovers there. Applying some backs. And then we have the light blue. some bags tight turns folding back the heck Last tinsel section. I'm gonna tie that one in.
will be sufficient. Just adding some back thread on top of it, cutting the leftovers. There we are. So front tackle with Galina. I prepared the feather already, so let's tie it in. There we are. So just folding it backwards. I'm gonna do tight wraps. I wanna utilize the space I got left. Oops. Just cutting the stem there. Just gonna brush the hack a little bit. I'm just gonna pull down the galena, separate it so it's not in the way for the middle wing. Just building up a bit with the thread. Otherwise the golden pheasant spear feather that's gonna be the middle wing gonna point straight upwards. to measure them in. So I'm just preparing the feather. So I know where to tie it in. Somewhere there. So it's gonna cut a little bit. side I want it to go along the whole length of the flying and then I do the same on the opposite side Length. 
Let me see. It's gonna pair them. There we go. And I can tie it in. It looks okay. So yeah, it's gonna wax the thread a bit. the feathers So let's mount the wing. Just gonna take it and pair it. <coughs> there we are. So I'm just gonna add the wing on top here. Just trying it to compact as I want it. There we go. Let's have a look. Little slick. The needle being to stay. There we go. I'm gonna play with the galena a bit later. That looks good. Just applying some bags. in the topping and then I'm gonna do a wool head on this one so right back so uh, time for the topping I got one I think it's gonna be okay never know until it's on the fly
could be a little bit longer. So There we are. So you're just gonna add a bit of next thread. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna do a wool head on this one. quite a long galena Looks better. Just gonna add some black varnish there.
adding the varnish as well. There we are. Just gonna play around a bit with the galena. Oh. Might wet it a few times and curve it a bit. So that's how you tie the smith. Um, interesting pad and uh, not that many things in it. Uh, looks looks fishy. I'm gonna try it. Um, so basically that's it for today. I uh, hope you're gonna enjoy the video and um, see you in the next one. Take care out there. And for you, you guys in the US, happy 4th of July.